This video is sponsored by Chugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 8th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two space rocks or near-Earth objects, NEOs, inbound for tomorrow, May 9th. This was just released by JPL. We're going to start off with 2024 JT3. It's a rock that's about 20 feet in diameter, so not a very large rock, not coming in a huge inclination. And, well, that's the good part. The bad part is, is that it's going to come within 0.1 lunar distances or about 20,000 miles from the center of Earth. And remember, Earth has about a 12,500 mile diameter. So you take half of that for a radius, and you get 6,250 miles. And when you subtract that from the 20,000 miles, well, you can see that this rock is coming very, very close to Earth, and we'll hope it does not have any companions. Take a look at tomorrow here. Well, it actually is not functioning. But this was just put up by JPL. Again, 2024 JT3, 20 feet and and moving about 11 kilometers per second. Let's get some additional information. This was just released today, May 8th. 23 total observations. The rock was first seen today on the 8th. The condition code, however, is 8 being highly uncertain. Zero, meaning they know exactly where it's headed. So that 0.1 lunar distance is, well, they could be off and it could be a direct hit. Of course, Automatic, the AI software, found the rock and we'll find out how close it's going to come. Again, it's only about 20 feet in diameter per their 23 observations, but with a condition code of 8, almost Highly uncertain, you really don't know how big the rock is, do you? All right, folks, it looks like they're shooting for 9.34 UTC time on the 9th, which is going to be about 2.30 Central Time tonight. 2.30 Central Time tonight, i.e. tomorrow on the 9th. So it looks like it's going to be a really, really close call at point zero 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 one seven nominal and minimal distance very very close shave here and with a condition code of eight it could be a direct hit now next up and just released by jpl we have 2024 jn3 this rock's going to be over 50 feet in diameter it's not coming in at a real hard inclination it's moving at 14 kilometers per second and they do have it hitting or passing between the moon and earth tomorrow and this model is working you can see how close they are 2024 JN3 looks like it's on top of earth although it's going to be further away than the other one we hope it's a much larger rock all right, taking a look at the data here, we see that the solution date was today, May 8th, 49 total observations. They said they first saw it on the 6th of May, and they actually last observed it today on the 8th. The condition code is still very high, a 7, 0 being they know exactly where the rock is headed, 9 being they're highly uncertain of where it's heading. This, of course, was found we're seen by automatic our AI software and we're going to look at how close of a call they believe it is but again the condition code here is seven solution date today all right just taking a glancing look here they're talking about a close pass 
to Earth around 1250 UTC time. That's going to be about 6 a.m. or 550 a.m. Central Time here in the U.S. And you can see the distance is nowhere near as close as the smaller rock. Again, this rock's over 50 feet in diameter. Instead of being 0.0001, it's 0.002. Actually, it's going to be closer to the moon than it is Earth. As you can see below, 0.001 the moon about 1810 this rock is passing between the earth and the moon and does have a high condition code it's a larger rock it's moving faster at about 14 kilometers per second and we'll keep an eye on both of these they could have companions either of them uh, they don't look like they're coming from the same trajectory although they were just spotted and the solution date for both rocks was today with that said, God bless each and every one of you guys. Let's keep our eyes to the skies and let's pray that the condition codes don't mean that we might see an impact. Let's also pray that there are no companions with these rocks. Please share our video. Please subscribe and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.